All right, guys, so in today's video, I want to show you just my step process, step-by-step -step process to write down my goals. <clears throat> so goals are really important for various reasons. Uh, to start out, um, something happens when you write down your goals. It, it's one thing to think of a goal and have that goal in your brain, but when you create something with that goal, when you create words on paper with that goal, it does change something. So <clears throat> this, I've been reading a book by Dave Ramsey, and this article is written by one of Dave Ramsey's um, employees talking about goals. And uh, so what are goals? They are specific, measurable. They're under a time limit. They're your goals. In writing is huge. <clears throat> it, it jumps on that point that I was just talking about. So I want to jump into this here. I wrote down my goals on a piece of paper, and I don't know about you guys, but a big roadblock for me when doing my goals was like, what kind of, what kind of paper do I write these goals down on? Don't overthink it. Just I, I ripped out a page from one of my notebooks for a completely different subject of material, and I was like, all right, this is my goal sheet, and here it is. So basically... <clears throat> there are seven categories of goals that I want to touch on. <clears throat> it lists it right here, but I'm just going to tell you. <clears throat> there are physical goals, financial goals, spiritual goals, social, family, career, and intellectual goals. Physical, financial, spiritual, social, family, career, intellectual. Seven types, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a little sick. Sorry about that. But... When it comes to these goals, I wrote down one goal for each category. So I have seven goals on this sheet, and I'm going to expand into more goals. But this is literally day two of my goal setting process. And like I just wrote down these goals yesterday. So this is day two of just talking about my goals, you know. <clears throat> so one thing that I find that you should do is when you write your goals, you want to start with the words, I will. Because at the end of the day, this goal is something you're trying to achieve, and you want to get there. So you want to use the future tense, I will. So for example, my physical goal is I will go from 175 pounds to 160 pounds by the end of 2024. So if we go back, this goal that I wrote down is specific. It's about weight loss. It's measurable, 15 pounds. Uh, time limit, I have about 45 days as of when I'm recording this video. So, you know, I, it's manageable for sure. About three pounds or one pound every three days. <clears throat> it's my goal. It's in writing because I wrote it down. And I just shared it with you guys. <laughs> so it checks off every box of this checklist. And I'm more likely to achieve this goal now that I wrote it down and shared it with you guys and have a, a, t a deadline. So just some things to think about there. Um, another goal that I like, I will coach five clients before 2024 is over. This relates to my financial coaching practice that I'm starting up. I'm trying to get some repetitions with coaching people financially. So this goal is measurable, five people. It's specific. It's about financial coaching. It, there is a time limit you know, before the end of the year. It's my goal. It's in writing, and I just shared it with you guys. So it checks off those boxes. You want to make sure it checks off these boxes because here's a goal I wrote down that's not very good. <clears throat> I will truly be content with my salary and will work hard to increase it. So it's more broad. This goal is more broad. It's not specific. It doesn't measure anything. Um, I, I want to be more content, you know, but that's, that's broad. There's no time limit attached to it. It is my goal. It's in writing, and I shared it with you guys. So that only checks off three out of the six boxes. So that's a goal that, you know, I do want to be content with my salary that I currently make. And I'm working on that. Because um, the Bible does say to be content with our wages. It says that. Oh, where does it say that? Where does the Bible say to be content with wages? <clears throat> yeah, Luke 
and be content with your wages. Yeah. I know it says that in there. So, yeah, but this was just a, a good exercise for me. I hope you guys took something away from it. Um, I have some other goals too, but they're, they're pretty much the same. Like I said, I wrote down one goal for each category. Um, you know, spiritual, financial, career, intellectual, health, slash physical, family, and social. So write down one goal for each category and do this exercise. It's good. It'll help you. So I hope this was useful to you in some way. If it was, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in future episodes, future videos, etc. Be sure to subscribe. Consider becoming a channel member. First link in the description, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.